Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we're going to be downloading and installing the uh, Star Mansion MLO slash YMAP SP5M. So yeah, it says Star, but it's meant to be Stark. So yeah, this is Stark Mansion, fully complete. It has an interior and exterior, as you guys can see. has a garage as well and it's going to be towards the left side of the map up towards the military base kind of in the north Chumash so yeah without further ado let's get into it so the first thing that we're going to want to do is come down to the description and make sure we have the required links installed so scriptic v, scriptic v.net and the game config and then it'll be a list of all the features that are used or that have been done. So, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this. Now this may take a couple minutes since it is a very, uh, quite large file. But just while we're here, uh, this is the first of two videos I'm going to be releasing today. So, the next one will be straight after this one. That will be released at different times. So, yeah, this will probably take about two to three minutes. So, while it's doing that, what you guys can do is go ahead and get Scriptic V, Scriptic V.net, and your game config installed. And by the time you've done that, I should be ready to show you guys how to install this. But for now, let's go back. You, you guys don't have to do this. I'm just gonna sh I'm just gonna be telling you all the features that are there. Well, not all of them, but most of them. So yeah, as it says, you've got uh, LODs, lights, um, glass FX. Um, you've got AI HUD. You've got a hub lift. You've got working TVs. You've got working garage system. Six spaces. The house AI will organize your cars. Uh, a secret script. A secret cinema, if you can find it. Uh, entrance walls and gates. Entrance parking. Tennis court. Helipad. Texture blended. Um, then you've got reworked terrain. The reworked entrances. And different reworked rooms. Including an underground medical room and suit armory. And then swimming area. So this seems to be quite a big mansion. And right. So once you guys have this open with a raw file. You can go ahead and close out of this. And go to your GTA 5 directory. So now that we're here. What you guys want to do. Is go to GTA now this will be the main directory what you guys want to do is you want to grab all of these if you don't have them already I'm gonna grab everything but the pack file limit adjuster and the heap adjusters just because I already have those installed now what you guys want to do is just drag and drop that's the first thing we gotta do so now if we head to scripts, as we see, we've got the Stark Mansion. It will have the Stark Mansion.dll and then the garage script in here for all six vehicles. I mean, it looks like there's six, but that zero also counts as a vehicle slot. So now we can back out of this and head back to our directory. Now what we can do is open up Open4 or OpenIV. And this part is the easy bit. So you guys want to go Windows. So I'm going to tell you exactly where to go if you guys are new to this. 
preferably do this on a clean version of GTA. Because it's more likely to work. So yeah, what you guys want to do is go edit mode. You guys want to go to mods. Update. X64 DLC packs. You guys want to... Right, look in the readme. Always look. So yeah, we want to make a folder called Stark Mansion. Or Star Mansion in this case. So, new folder. So yeah, new folder. And Star Mansion. So once you guys have done that, go into that folder. There's nothing there. Go back into the Star Mansion. Or actually, no. You guys don't have to make the folder. All you guys got to do is just drag this folder in there. But while I'm here, I'm going to go in here and just drag the DLC to RPF. And there's one more step after this, but we're going to have a look just in the files really quick so I can show you guys uh, what things you can look at. So as you can see, there's going to be props. So yeah, if we go into the props section, these are all the props that have been used. There's 326 of them. So, for instance, we got the Stark Gym Swimming Water. That's just a black fucking rectangle. Then we got the Credits Poster, which... These... They won't fully show up, but when you load in the game, they will. This is meant to be a mirror. Let's do something where we can actually see it. Okay, a bottle, here we go. So yeah, there's going to be a bottle of whatever. Then you've got uh, wine. And then you've got this kind of, I think, thing for a light, uh, maybe. So that's props, but the main thing you guys can look at is if we head into here, head into the exterior, we can actually look at Dunfell actually show. But this is a uh, basically a model of what it will look like. Obviously there's no interior since this is just one of the uh, models for the exterior. But genuine, this is what it will look like. There is more of it, but it's just only a certain amount can go in there. And then you've got the the island parts. This is the driveway, I'm pretty sure. Up here is the gate. And then we've got another Stark Island. You've got the helipad here. You've got the road still going down. And then there's like vegetation and stuff. You can get rid of that if you want, but I suggest you keep it there since it's part of the LOD. And then if we head back one more time, you got the interior. So I think if we go to the interior shell, this is it won't be green when you learn to the game. Um So this is one part of the interior. It's the lights, the kitchen. Um, and you've got the underground floor. So this is just, like as I said, nothing's going to be the colour. But, yeah. Then you've got the main floor. So they're just the layouts of the, each floor. Then obviously you've got this, which is meant to be something. But if we go to placement... You've actually got the Y maps and everything else. So none of this needs to be touched. But the rest, if you guys wanted to look, maybe replace some stuff, such as like the props, like the wine bottles, uh, be free to. But now what we're going to do, for the last step, go to mods, update, update to RPF, common uh, days, uh, data, and we're going to go to the DLC list. We're going to edit. What you guys want to do is you want to actually head back to the readme and you want to grab where is it I don't know if he's actually put it in here okay over here so it's going to be the 
uh, item DLC pack, Stark Mansion, or Star Mansion in this case. Copy that, close and close. And you guys want to go into your DLC packs, press enter, make a new align, control V, save, close open IV, and load into your game. It's pretty simple. And yeah. So once you guys have done that, it should work. So if you guys did find this video helpful, if you did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on, and we'll see you guys in the next one.